Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. You can make one common mistake that can cost you hundreds, even thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Toyota Corolla. That generation that you see right here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those and you have a problem where a left or right headlight is out, it's not working, stay with us, we'll explain what you need to check. Most of the times, of course, it will be just a bad bulb, but it could be other things. You have up to six fuses controlling the headlights. Relay, we'll explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time, why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engine work, transmission, mechanical, body work, anything you can think of practically. On this channel specifically, we'll be making at least 150 to 200 videos about that Toyota Corolla, that generation, guys, if you have one of those, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your car does not want to start, you can, and uh, you find out that the fuel pump is bad, you're not getting fuel, you can just search for fuel pump uh, relay, fuel pump fuse really quickly, watch the video, spend a minute or two, replace it, you're back on the road, because uh, the writings on the fuse boxes uh, are very vague and most people will not even know uh, what they mean so uh, we will be making videos about uh, every possible fusing uh, relay in that Toyota Corolla so let's start on it now so if a left or right headlight is out we'll demonstrate what you need to check on that generation Toyota Corolla right here first guys it could be just a bad bulb always check the bulbs that's not very complicated but when you install a new bulb never touch it with your fingers because the oil of, uh, from your fingers will make the new bulb burn really fast if the bulb is good guys okay what you need to do let's go ahead and open the hood we need to check some fuses here we have a fuse box facing the engine on the right side open that cover and that is a fuse box layout that looks like this one before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that, that do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so guys if a left or right headlight is out what we need to check up to five fuses in this fuse box and one more in a different one. Oh, and for any of you that need to buy any fuses relays at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time we will put a link in the description of the video below check it out you can save quite a bit of money coming here the first fuse that we'll need to check you may or may not have this one is fuse number 14 right here then you're going to come right here towards the top and you have fuse number 33 34 35 and 36 all these fuses will need to be checked for the headlights after that guys we're going to check relay 11 for headlights which is that relay right here and next we need to open the driver door come under the dash on the bottom side look upside down on the bottom you have one white cover that looks like this one pull it out underneath you have a fuse box layout that looks like that one here we need to check another fuse starting this way you count 17 18 19 20 21 fuse number 21 will need to be checked other things guys that can cause the headlight easily not to work when you install the bulb make sure you install it correctly in the correct position and you have the correct size bulb we see people often will see that the bulb looks like theirs and they'll buy it but sometimes they might differ always check the part number Next, make sure that it's plugged in correctly and if that doesn't fix it, unplug the wire behind the headlight, push it back in, the wiring harness for the headlight. That might be uh, something that was loose, humidity accumulated, check it to make sure that it's uh, not wet, dirty or rusty or anything like that. That will be the thing that will cause it most of the times on some cars. I haven't really experienced that on the other Corolla, but on some newer vehicles, we actually had to reset the BCM 
uh, the clear the codes because of a bad headlight and uh, hopefully you don't have to do that but if nothing fixes it you may need to clear your codes hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time